Welcome to YouTube, it's Aquarius Leviathan Prophecy, and I'm back with another uh, vlog video. Um, you know what, I've been, uh, you know, watching ESPN and, and, and First Take and, and Undisputed, because those are the only two shows I watch, obviously. Uh, but, you know, obviously there was talking yesterday about um, how, you know, um, how Paul Pierce left out LeBron James in his top five. And, um, you know, if you really think about it, you know, like I was getting a, an epiphany about it too because what Paul Pierce said, what, what actually what Paul Pierce said about him not, you know, LeBron James not being in his top five, I get it, you know. Like I, I think Paul Pierce is looking at it in a in a in a cultural way. You know what I'm saying? Like he's not live. I, I I think he's. I think I think Paul Pierce is looking at it in a cultural way, and not in a you know stat championship kind of way. You know what I'm saying? Because he listed you know f his top five. You know which was Michael Jordan, Akeem, Bill. Uh, Abdul the uh, um, Akeem. Yeah, I said, I said Michael, Bill, uh, Hakeem, um, you know Shaq, and I think he mentioned Kobe. All those top five players changed the game of basketball in their respective eras. LeBron James never changed anything. You know, he was just that dominant freak of nature that, you know, obviously when he learned when he learned how to first win, you know, he you know, he took it with he took it with a grain of salt because those years in Cleveland, you know what I'm saying, the years that he spent in Cleveland, his rookie year, you know what I'm saying? Obviously he didn't he didn't go to the playoffs his rookie year, but obviously he won rookie of the year, and then he just got he 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 just pro progressed. He just he just made like a huge leap, you know, year after year. And obviously, management wasn't trying to help him. You know what I'm saying? Like he had an average, he had a below average point guard out of Mo Mo, Mo Williams. You know what I'm saying? Like he had, you know, Marshall and. Uh, Eunice Gagowskis, and he had Anderson Verjao. You know what I'm saying? Like, he had pieces, but there wasn't championship-level pieces. And obviously, when they ran into the Spurs, it was all she wrote. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they got past, uh, they got past, the uh, um, the, the Magic with the White Howard. And I think they uh, they got past I think the Atlanta Hawks too, um, but you know I mean, management wasn't helping them. You know the team wasn't helping them as a whole. You know what I'm saying so when he made that decision to go to Miami, everybody flipped. Everybody started burning his jerseys. You know what I'm saying like like what did you want him to do? You wanted him to stick in that toxic. That toxic atmosphere for another seven more years and, and not even get a championship. You know what I'm saying? Like, he would have been one of those guys that just so dominant that he never won a championship because he was just so loyal to that team. He didn't want to go nowhere. And now, look at him. He has no rings. You know what I'm saying? Year, what was what he in? Year 17? Has no ring. You know what I'm saying? So he had to do what he had to do. And I'm not and you know, I'm not, you know, like I don't feel bad for him, but I don't feel sorry for him at the same time because Cavaliers they didn't want to help him. They didn't want to put a pieces around him. So what he did, he left. And when he left, the Cavaliers started tanking. Wiggins Bennett, who was a bus, they drafted uh, uh, Kyrie, 
was the only centerpiece around that team, you know, they were still getting blown out while he was averaging like 40, 50 points a night. And then obviously LeBron James went there. He won two out of the four championships. He went back to Cleveland, failed the first time, regrouped, went back again, and obviously captured the championship for Cleveland. You know what I'm saying? So I think Paul Pierce, obviously, like I said again, Paul Pierce is looking at it in as a uh, cultural thing, you know? Like he's he's looking at it as a in, in a cultural way, not in a stat championship driven way. You know, uh, that's what I think because when he listed those five guys, those are five generation talent right there in different eras. Obviously, you know Michael Jordan dominated the eight. Well, actually, I'm not gonna say the eighties, but the nineties. He mostly dominated that era. You know, Bill, Hakeem, uh, Shaq, I think he had Shaq in there, Kobe, they all dominated their positions in their eras. You know what I'm saying? Um, but LeBron, you can't really say that for LeBron. You know what I'm saying? Like, LeBron James is doing good in the community. You know what I'm saying? Like, open up schools, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. But, like, the impact that he put on the basketball court is like, like, what is your body of work? You know, like a 250, six, what, six, seven, you know what I'm saying? Six, eight, you know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't necessarily change the game like, you know, MJ, Kobe did, you know what I'm saying? Stephen Curry, I could have possibly put in my top five, you know? Like, he, like he changed the game of how shooters shoot now. You know, everybody wants to be the next Stephen Curry now. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody is thinking about to be the Lex LeBron. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. But, you know, people might get, people might get, you know, sacrilegious and, and, and start saying, oh, Paul Pierce is just in his feelings because, you know, LeBron James, you know, beat him up in the playoffs so bad. Look, Paul Pierce won championships way before LeBron James even got to the league. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Paul Pierce won championships way before LeBron James got to the league. So why would he be jealous? He's angry that obviously he didn't necessarily, you know, beat him in the playoffs. Obviously, it's a competition. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Paul Pierce just felt that he had too much... Like he, it, like Paul Pierce, just think that it, it that the, the situation was just too much. You know, Miami Heat was already stacked. Boston was already stacked. So it was a level. It was uh, it was a even playing field. But obviously, Dwayne Wade was just too much. Chris Bosh was just that Miami Heat team was just stacked. You know, so I think at the end of the day, people are gonna gravitate towards. You know, uh, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, well, that's Paul Pierce. He be saying some stupid shit every damn day. You know what I'm saying? Like, he says that who has a better career, me or Lo or Dwayne Wade? Which I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. That was a little bit. That was pushing the envelope way too far. We already know who had a better career out of those two. You know, both great defenders, both great. You know players in their own right, you know, but, I mean, like I said, man, it's competition, you know, you, like, you can't say that he's better than you, you have to have confidence in yourself, you know what I'm saying, like, like, even if it's your siblings or your relatives or your, your, your friends, you have to have confidence in yourself, you can't say, oh, you know what I'm saying, oh, he could beat me. Like you sound like you you sound like ER right now. Oh, I can't win. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to have confidence in yourself. That's the only way you can build character. If you don't have confidence, if you, if you don't have confidence in yourself, who will? Not your mom, not your dad. Yeah, obviously your your 
your parents have to have confidence in you, but you have to have confidence in yourself. So, you know, I just think that Paul Pierce was looking at it in a, you know, in a, in a different texture. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see where he was coming from, not having him in my top five, in his top five, but I could see it in a cultural way, you know, in an impact generation type way. You know, like if he would have had Stephen Curry at number five, th then I would have understand because Stephen Curry changed the way. Allen Iverson, same way. You know what I'm saying? Like, he changed the culture of the NBA. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when 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 they was wearing suits and ties and stuff like that, he was just wearing, you know, do-rags and cornrows and you know what I'm saying, sneakers and stuff like that. Like, he didn't really rock the corporate type image. You know what I'm saying? Now you got freaking NBA players dressing up as drag queens and shit, wearing fucking Lord knows what. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only thing I hate about NBA players. They have no fashion whatsoever. They, they have no taste in fashion whatsoever. You know, I, I, I truly do think that the NBA... Is giving these players too much, too much of a voice. You know what I'm saying? Like where the NFL, they control what you do and how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't see, you know, motivational speakers in the NFL no more. You know, I think Richard Sherman was like the last guy to speak his mind. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't even, like you're not gonna even have players like that anymore. You know what I'm saying? But it's good that, you know, the NBA is letting these players express themselves, but sometimes they just be going too far, you know, uh, fashion-wise, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. But y'all can tell me what y'all think about um, Paul Pierce saying, leaving LeBron James on his top five. For me, I'll put LeBron James in my top ten, you know? Because if we think, if we're talking about changing the game, for the last, you know, 25 years. LeBron James didn't necessarily change the game. He just added his own repertoire to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, are we going to look back 20 years from now and say Zion Williamson changed the game of basketball? Could be, possibly. You know what I'm saying? The way that you have to guard him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was just too dominant and big. You know what I'm saying? So... I mean, it is what it is. Tell me what y'all think. Leave a like. Hit that like button. Uh, subscribe to that. Uh, hit that notification bell. Till next time, take care of yourself. Any further. I got like three videos I have to upload. So, yeah.